Hey there guys, bringing you another unopening video. This time we're gonna mix it up just a little bit. And we're going to, uh, I'm gonna show you my Carl's order here. I did kind of open it just cause, well, it looked like it might've been damaged, but nothing was good. So first of all, I'll show you. One thing I love about uh, being part of the Carl's Club is four times a year you get to make an insurance claim on a piece of tackle. And a while back I did order a um, 13 fishing swim bait. I did a tackle insurance claim on it so I could get a freebie. That thing is really cool. Glidesdale 185 13 fishing. This is the rusty bean color. I'll pick that out real quick for you. It is a jointed swim bait. It's got a single joint there. It's got a soft rubbery tail. Nice big old treble hooks. I don't remember the length of it. Let's see. There it is. Six and two thirds inches. So almost seven inch swim bait. Nothing too huge, but I don't think I need anything too huge for around here. Either way, I'm excited to try this. I've also got another one. I think it was in a little bit more natural color, like, you know, the grays and the whites. So there you have it. That was uh, tackle, or, uh, Carl's Tackle Insurance Claim. Thank you for giving me a uh, freebie, if you will, on this bait. I'm sure I'll lose one of them. I haven't lost the other one yet. I can't lie about that. But, but hey, four free lures a year, 50 bucks a year to do the do the membership. I think that pretty much pays for it, since it pays for it in itself because you can make a claim up to a $20 item. So besides all the discounts and the other stuff you get for being a membership there, I mean, just the, the insurance claim alone makes it worth it. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I believe it was the last week of their dollar items, and I'd always pretty much ordered five of them at a time. The last week they had the Biospawn, uh, XL Pod, uh, Black with Blue Flake. I got five of them here, stocking up for, uh, for the season. All right, now the box. It's in the box. Let's fold it a little. This is the Carl's Mystery Grab Bag. Um, it's not specific to any species. It could be panfish, it could be trout, it could be bass. More than likely, it's a mix of things. I did get one of these before, uh, back in the summer, and I was really, really, really happy with what I got. Um, in fact, I had to, I'll, I'll link a picture to it. I don't have a video of anything, but I have a picture of everything I got out of that box. I got a nice little uh, little swim bait. I think it was a Weston Weston lures, as well as a topwater. It looks like a little duck. That was kind of cool. A couple little crankbaits. Um, it, it was a good box. And at the time, I think it was twenty six dollars or something like that. I don't remember what I paid for this one, but it was even cheaper yet because it was on sale. So, all right, well let's get into it. And open it. Alright, first shot. Not completely loaded full, but you know, it's definitely random stuff in there. So let's see what kind of randomness we got this time. Alright, we got a big bites, big bite baits. They're a little uh, green with a pink bottom. I would say that's a panfish lure, a little soft plastic. Hey, we'll use them somewhere. Uh, Weston. Ring tease. That's kind of a funny name, but um, what do we got? Five inch, six of them. Oh, they're little paddle tails. That's what those are. There we go. I get a way better look at them. Bag in the box, and really protecting these nice. They do have a little smell to them, so they must be scented. But kind of just a long, narrow little swim tail. It's got cool little eyes on them. Kind of a red color with some, uh, looks like a, almost like a green flake, like a red and green flake. I don't know. I'm sure they'll work for something. Fish taste. Yeah, it's scented as something. It's almost sweet smelling. Let's see what's up next. All right, we got, oh, this looks like a deep diving little crankbait. Probably a little bit more on the walleye side of things, being long and skinny. Uh, let's do that. It's called Disco Ball Color. And let's see, what's the model on this guy? It's a long A. 25A. So if I look at the back, 25A, four and a half inches. 
a three quarter ounce number two hooks and you're a 12 to 15 foot depth. There you go, here's a little better look at it. Disco ball color, that is definitely a colorful lure. All plastic. Oh, those are actually pretty sticky hooks. Why is it sticky? The lure is like sticky. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> no, it's not scented. <laughs> uh, just painted on eyes. I wouldn't say they're anything extra special, but they're a pretty average run of the day lure. Jitterbug, Swamp Frog. Kind of old school design, Jitterbug. Kind of just does a little, a little walking top water motion. Those hooks are really stiff, like the way they're mounted on there. Never used these, I've seen them plenty. Kind of thought they were always outdated, but hey, here's a brand new one. Jitterbug. Classic lure. That'd be kind of fun just to try that out sometime. All right, moving on. Lunker Hunt, dart head jigs. Quarter ounce, metallic brown. That's a nice jig head, ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I'd definitely probably classify that in the walleye range. Would be probably a safe to bet. But either way, always use more jig heads. In fact, I was running a little low on them. It's nice to actually get some quality ones at that too. All right, moving on. I got a little guy here. Ooh, it's a little jigging spoon. Sting nose minnow, metallic plating, quarter ounce. This looks like almost a little uh, ice fishing lure. Didn't, wasn't expecting that, honestly. I mean, yeah, that's that definitely classifies a little ice fishing lure. Itty bitty little lightweight hook. Actually, looks like a little minnow. Moving on. All right, we got some more uh, panfish. Plastics. I, uh, I will definitely use these. Uh, let's see, Arc Shiner, Yum Baits. Yeah, those work. I've always used uh, Mr. Twister's white and and uh, and green. Really did have done well out here for the crappie and and whatnot. And I'm sure that guy will get it done too. Beautiful. I like them. These are pretty basic jig heads. I think we've all seen Eagle Claw, the ball jigs. I don't think I'm even going to take those out of the box, but. From the peers of things, it might be Mr. Gab grab bag, but those pair up quite well. I can definitely use those together. Lucky Craft, Wander. Pretty sure this is a Japanese or Chinese lure. I mean, I'd read it to you, but um, yeah, I can't read that. All I know is that's a Wander 45. I mean, I'm a little confused by it. Typically. Tie it here because you jig it like this when you're ice fishing, but this one's like, like this. So, yeah, I'm not really 100% sure what I'm going to do with that guy yet. I wonder if this is maybe, uh, I wonder if this is maybe more of a trout lure, and that's probably why I really don't know how to use it or what it's for. But it looks like a cool little lure. I mean, usually, these Japanese lures are high sought after, and well, that's an insanely sharp hook. I about one of my finger barely touching it. All right, well, not really sure what that is, but. And last but not least, <laughs> I gotta laugh a little bit. The exact lure I told you about. I guess I got two of them. Well, let's hope it works and I lose it once and I got a backup now. Well, I shouldn't hope for that, but. But it's Western, Weston lures, soft bodied. Duck. Yellow body, little, little baby duck. Yep, just as good as a frog, just doesn't have the skirt. It's got a couple little little feet there, but you know, it definitely looks like a little duck, and well, bass are known to eat ducks, and well, pike and musky too, so I will probably catch at least a toothy critter or a bass on it, so. Yeah, 10 baits. I mean, these topwater lures, I think last time I looked, were around the $8 range, maybe a little bit more. These Western baits aren't the cheapest, so, I mean, there's money there, and, you know, these things are at least, you know, five, six bucks, but, you know, at least that. So, I can, in the three lures here, I've pretty much gotten what I paid for. All right, there you have it. There's the uh, Carl's Misty Grab Bag. 
I'm not sure how long they'll be available. Again, it's not any specific species or anything like that. It's just kind of a general, you, who knows what you're gonna get. It's all supposed to be fresh water. That's about the only guarantee I had. So there you have it. Hey, thanks for watching. Smack that subscribe and we'll see you around.